Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to Lost Island. Today we're going to be doing a little bit more taming and breeding. So we got that nice new water pen that we set up in the last video. So today we're going to be going out and trying to find either a second Megalodon or another Basil to tame. That way we can do some breeding. I do got the nanny made. After we come back, when we find whatever tame we're going to be doing it with, we need to make a generator and that way we can power it out there. We're going to kind of hide the generator in the ceiling, but we'll worry about that later. It's fairly early in the morning, but by the time we get our stuff together, it should be kind of daylight. My plan is to head out this way and then go around the cove and take a right. Start ed edging out that way some, see what's in the water. Might be able to find us some stuff out there. That's kind of where we've been seeing the basils, right? They're kind of out over that way. That's kind of the main thing I hope we find first is a basil. But our gear is already repaired. So we'll take all this. I'm not sure what to go on yet. I'm kind of thinking about going on the basil just so that we can grab some biotoxin if we find some jellyfish. Let's see, what do we got for crossbows? We'll take that one again. Let's change this over here. Can't use a shotgun in the water. And we've got 56 of those. Let's go ahead and make up a little bit more on those. If I can spell. There we go. Let's make up 30 more. And that should be good enough. That's only for if we find a Megalodon, right? Because the Dazzle is just a passive team. Oh, you know what? Maybe we'll take the shark with us too, because if we find a basil, we're going to need to get rid of all the mantas around. We've only got three kibble. Let's see if we've got a little bit more stuff to make some more kibble. I think we need four pieces or so to be able to tame one or the other. And we should have one or two eggs. I think there's two over here that I saw. All these May wings, and we only got two eggs. Boy, I tell you what. Yep, just two. I mean, that's fine. It's fine. We'll have to deal with that for right now. Let's do you oh it can't pull it out of the nest interesting I guess I can't accidentally use them then that's kind of a good thing I guess nice so we'll make up two of those and that'll give us five total should be enough and we'll keep these arrows on us too just in case let's go ahead and just actually leave those up here alright so two of those we don't need narcotics so we are good. Let's see. We got the tank, we got the scuba, okay. Oh, I don't have my... <laughs> I don't have my wingman on me. Dude, I'm sitting there trying to fly. Doesn't work like that. So these I have set on wild dinos only and high. So they kind of cover almost all the way over there. The ones from there cover right about to here in the middle. And that one covers almost the other direction. So it kind of almost covers that whole area in there. It's kind of nice, man. I went ahead and closed in the ceiling. I don't know why I always left the ceiling open, but I mean, it definitely looks a lot better like that. So what we'll do is we'll take one or two of those down. Those are regular ones. I wanted to get rid of them out of my storage. And we'll stick the generator up there. I think it'll fit without poking through the roof. We'll have to see. And then we'll kind of fill that back in with the S plus ones. So. You guys doing all right? Want to go on a little adventure today? So he's got a ton of levels. Let's put a lot of them into damage for right now. And just a little bit into his health. We'll let him heal up some while we're out and about. And he's probably going to have some levels as well. How you doing, buddy? So you got 20,000. Let's put a lot into damage on him for right now. I mean, he's got 20,000 health. That's, that's a good bit for right now. We need oxygen. It's kind of a necessity. <laughs> oh, yeah, and I did fix all the walls. So as you can see, the pillars are on the inside instead of the outside. And I did the same over there, too. So we're actually all set. Dude, that took forever, man. I had to pick them all up, throw them back all out. Nice, we'll hop on you. It is getting morning time, so we can actually see. So somebody left me a comment and said, it used to be like this. It might have changed, but if we make one of the gas masks and use that underwater, it's supposed to be crystal clear for seeing. I don't know how we'll breathe, but at least whenever I want to take screenshots or something, we'll be able to see crystal clear. So, I'm going to head out this way, like I said, and take a loop around the island, and we'll start out heading towards... Is that the south of the map? Yeah, out around that way, kind of along in between the desert. Try to find us something. We're looking for a high-level basil, and then... 
So we need a female Meg. Or a male Basil. Okay, okay, okay. I'll have to remember that as we start seeing stuff. We're going to bypass as much as we can and not try to fight everything around. So I will see you when I find one or the other. I mean, it could be right around the corner here. That'd be fantastic. <laughs> that way we don't have to go too far. So here's another one. It's a male. High level, 135. I ended up changing to the shark for two reasons. One, it was getting kind of annoying here in the whale. <laughs> but then two, uh, this one actually moves a lot faster. And, oh, dude, there's some jellyfish down there. And I don't know what level this other one is. It looks fairly low level. Level 20, okay. So we'll throw the whale back out and grab that biotoxin. Oh, dude, I was having fun on the shark. I totally forgot they had that bleed effect. I thought they had to be in a pack for them to have that bleed effect. But I guess not, man. It's kind of like the... It's kind of like the Thylo, right? With that bleed and like a Giga is. And is that a Dunkle over there? It is. It's too far away to see it. There's supposed to be some of the X versions on this map. That's an 85. And that's a 50. Okay, okay. What level are you, though? Level 15 is a regular one. Level 90, and it's a female. Hmm. I hate to do it, but let's throw out the whale again. I'm going to grab some of that biotoxin, man. We are still fairly close to base. So that's good to know. Wait, what is all that? Just some meat, I think. But it's good to know that there's jellyfish so close. And, dude, I remember we had someone's problem trying to find some pearls. They are all over the seafloor. Hey, guys, you want to come and play? <laughs> Can't shock me now. Totally got out of the path I was trying to go to. There we go. Everybody in the line, please. This is a group effort. Yeah, give me a biotoxin. Nice. Now I just need to make up some regular darts. I think I'm starting to get shy on metal. I need to grab our stuff from Genesis 2, man. Our other creatures. Like the magma swords and stuff. So I can do some metal harvesting. I mean, we got the Anki, but Agmasaurs are pretty fun, man. I don't know. I like messing around on them. All right, back on the hunt, finding something else to tame so that we can do some breeding today. So, that could be a problem. Dude, it's a 140 pleasy. Oh, man. We don't have enough uh, stuff to tame it. Oh, there's one of the turtles. I didn't even realize it. Well, there was one of the turtles. They're going to kill it for sure. That's a 130. Dude, it's a bunch of high-level stuff, man. I wonder if we can tag that pleasy. Hmm. I know, buddy. You're coming over here for me to help you. I need to kill off that one. I wonder if we can do that without the shark attacking it. Let's, uh... Play around for a little bit. Try a little couple things here. I'm all for getting a pleasy if we can. I don't think, though, we'll be able to kill it with just this. As long as they keep aggro on that, or maybe I can get the aggro. Oh, dude, get me on the shark. Okay, let's take out this one. The other one's busy. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, i tell you what. We're going to leave the pleases alone. I don't want to mess with them. I need to get off of the shark to be able to shoot. So that's not going to work today. However, that is very close to base, and they killed our turtle, man. Need to tame one of those things, too. I always wanted to build a base on their back. And just haven't been able to. We gotta find some of the fish. We gotta find the schools of fish to lead to it. To try to get it to tame. Yep, you guys need to go somewhere, man. Dude, it actually looks fantastic underwater here, too. There's a lot of stuff. As far as foliage. Nope, oh, that's a dolphin. Buddy, I need some sharks, man. It seems like it goes super deep, dude. I'm really trying to keep an eye out for something like a, a squid. I'm sure there's gonna be one hidden around here somewhere. Yeah, it goes, it goes really deep, man. It's a really nice dunkle. It's only a regular one, though. And then I found some sharks, high level, a 135 and a 140, but they were both males, and we need a female as far as the sharks go. I don't know exactly where to find the X dunkles, but dude, the color patterns on those things, oh man, they look fantastic. So we've kind of come up out of that big, deep trench that was over there. I mean, there's a lot of stuff down in there, just nothing that we're actually looking for. And dude, the dolphins are all over the place. Let's see where we're at on the map, man. We've been swimming for a good minute here. Oh, we are way around there. We haven't actually been over here up top either. What are you? 
Nothing. Oh, I tell you what, all the mags are males. Kind of weird, man. Haven't seen any more of the basils either. Not even over by base where we saw the other ones. There was a level 45 and a level 100. Ah, they're totally gone. I have no idea where they're at. So I don't know, man. We're going to have to have to cover a lot of ground today to probably find a mag. See, this is the problem I had. I was looking off camera too for some to tame. That's why I wanted to come this way. I went the other direction and couldn't find anything that was high level or that was a proper gender. We are getting super shallow up here. I'm kind of near, kind of near the shore. We might have to actually get out and put him into a soul trap. Let's take a look and see. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, we haven't been over here yet. Probably should have brought the canoe with me to get back a little bit quicker. Because I don't have wingman either, right? I left him back at base. So there's a 130. I think that'll work. Because the highest level I've seen besides that is only like a level 60 or so. And there's a 145. See, that's what I'm saying. All the males around here are super high level. There's some jellyfish. we got to watch out for those. Level 15 and a 95. All right, so which one do we want? We want this one, right? We do. All right, let's try to get his attention. Maybe we'll get her attention and then head back up that way. Shallower water. Hey, come, come this way, man. All right, so we got... Yep, we got two more on us. Swimming a little bit should lose aggro for him. And we'll just have to get her attention again. I mean, it should be fine. Should be fine. It'll be great. <laughs> as long as there's nothing up here in the shallow waters. I could actually start tranking it, too. That'll kind of help keep aggro on us. Okay, okay, okay. Get you up here. That should be fine. The other one should drop aggro here in a minute. We'll catch her as soon as she gets up here. And I went ahead and took my mask off. It's like the same amount of vision with it on or off. Ah, that other one's still coming. All right, we'll have to get this one knocked out. I do like the colors. It looks like it's like blue and orange. All right, buddy, you're going to take a little bit of damage here in a minute. I'm going to have to use you as bait. This is probably going to take quite a few... Are you going passive? You are now. Yeah, I do like the colors on it, man. Nice, nice. It's either blue or gray. I can't tell. It's because of the water. It's all right. She's just nibbling on you. Just seeing what's up. <laughs> Dude's sitting there like, come on, man. As long as she's biting him and not me. I'll have to put him into a soul trap here before too long, though. He's going to lose a lot of health. I'll change it out for the basil. That's probably what I should be using now for a beat instead of him. He's only got like 7,000 health and most of it was already gone. It's starting to get bloody, too, a little bit. It's alright, dude. You guys are going to be good friends here before too long. So, since I haven't seen any more of the Basils, we'll just probably get this one, get her tamed, and then just head right back. And probably go along the shore. I don't think we're too far from base. I'll check and see on the map as soon as we get this one knocked out. Alright, cool. She's running. Don't go far, dude. Don't go far. Stay over here, man. There's sharks out there. <laughs> it's not safe. Oh, she's getting bloody, too. Buddy, come with us. I might need you. Oh, please do not die. I really need to make harpoons for doing these. Are you good? Oh, you're good. Fantastic. Are we safe? Ish. Safe ish. Seem to be good. Ah, right, you hang tight there. You. I think we're going to need two pieces of kibble for you. How's our air tank? It's fine. And where are we at? Uh, not too far. We're definitely not running back on land since I don't have any flyers. Hmm, we haven't been over here, though. It'd be kind of neat. We do need to do some exploring, and it turns out this little area that we haven't been to, that is where we find the griffins. I just really wanted to do some water breeding, you know, since it's kind of new and everything. So we'll do that, and then maybe in the next video, we'll jump over there, try to get us a griffin, and go from there. We still got the aberration cave we need to hit up, and then one more artifact to get, and then <laughs> we got to do the other baboon taming and breeding 
and the better boss fight. So we have a very long list. However, I'm going to let this dude tame up, and we're going to get back to base, throw her out in the pond, and do some breeding. So I'll just see when we get back to base, because it's going to be just a long swim to get back there anyways. <laughs> Look at her, man. Ah, oh, dude, she looks fantastic. So it's gray and orange. I was hoping that it was going to be like a dark blue and orange, but it's gray and orange. I didn't put any stats into her either. It'd be kind of cool if we could just jump right over that, you know. I'm just saying, jumping sharks would be fantastic. But I didn't put any points into her. I want to kind of wait and see. Oh, we almost used that one all the way up. I want to see what she has for stats when we do the breeding. Unfortunately, I don't remember what the male was. And I don't feel like looking back on my video. So, <laughs> we'll just go with what we got. Let's throw you out. And throw you out. Alright, we'll deal with them in a minute. First things first, we need to get up here and put a generator in. Because she needs power. Shouldn't be too hard to do. Oh yeah, let's throw our basil out too. There we go. Holy crap, dude. Your tail's like all out of the water, man. It's alright. He'll be fine. He'll be fine. His head's underwater. That's how he breathes. How you guys doing? You make any more kibble? Or any more eggs for kibble? Just saying, there's a bunch of you over there. I kind of miss having that one tree that was right over here. I might put some re-fertilizer out just to get it back. Alright, let's see. Let's get us... Let's do it over here. Wait. It's over here. Leave all you guys in there. We're going to need one generator. What's the box called? Outlet, that's why. Okay, it's not a cable box. And then we're going to need one of... Hmm. Maybe one of the cross pieces? They don't have to steal some gas. I don't think I have any... Might have to grab some out of this other one over here. Just for now. Just temporarily. Ooh, you don't have that much either. Let's take almost all of it. I can always fill this one back up fairly easy. Let's put our kibble away. We do not need it spoiling. Oh yeah, biotoxin too. Totally forgot about that. And we could probably throw this oil in the forge real quick and maybe get some gas. Do we have any... Don't have any wood. Man, boy, I tell you what. Do you have any wood? You don't. Do you have any wood? A little bit. Alright. Do your thing. Make us some gas. I should probably grab Wingman. I'm going to need to get up top there. What's up, buddy? Sorry, man. Had to leave you here today. You can't breathe under water. However, we can put a helmet on him. I keep forgetting to. I want to make a nice flak helmet and stick it on him. That way he can have a little bit of protection when we go out to do stuff. Alright, so. Grab you. And grab you. It's our little secret area, man. So I'm really, really hoping this will fit in here. Nope, not up there. Down here. Down here. Oh, it does. Fantastic. And it doesn't really shine, uh, not shine, but show through. All right, we should be able to put that there with this. We'll hide you. And we'll hide you. Mmm, you can kind of see the generator sticking through, but I mean, only if you're looking. You should have power. You are! Activate! Fantastic! What is your range? Not very far. Holy crap, dude. We might actually have to stick her out a little bit further. And then... I'm gonna need some food. That's not gonna be enough. Tell you what, let's get these guys kind of sorted out. We'll do some... We'll put them on mating, and then we'll deal with the food situation. Probably should have brought my fins with me at least. We'll grab those when we go to get some of the food. Oh, I don't have a saddle for you too. We'll borrow your saddle for a minute. 
Well, I mean, it was your saddle in the first place. Alright, just... There you go. Just a little bit. Alright, so... Enable mating. Enable mating. So they're going to have the gestation period too, I take it, right? Let's go ahead and turn off the range. Alright, let's go grab some more food. We'll grab our fins. And they should be ready by about the time we get back, at least to the gestation period. I kind of want to keep an eye on it and see how long it takes in between. And then we'll do the same thing. Depending on how it comes out, we'll get rid of either the male or the female, replace them, and that way we can have some better parents for the whole breeding process. We'll take a ton of this meat. I'll leave a little bit for us, though. I'll take those. Thank you. I'm hoping to breed them to where we have the kind of like the gray and the orange. I think I might wait and make sure we have colors. Even if we get some good stats on the parents, we'll do that. And since I don't know his stats, I'll probably just wait and see what hers are, right? Whenever something comes out, if it's equal to hers or better, we'll keep it. If it's under, I mean, we'll get rid of it, right? It's kind of the only way to do it without knowing what the males was. So you're at 69%. Let's put those on. And I want to see something real quick. <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, you look fantastic, man. Dude, we're gonna we're gonna leave you with the little do-rag on, man. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. I like it. I like it. Uh, he's ready for the hot weather. I'll have to get me one to replace it here in a minute. Alright, so mating's complete. Gestation period is a minute and 20 seconds. I will see you back in a minute and 10 seconds. I know it's hard to see, but I wouldn't made him one that's black since it kind of matches him with the black and the orange. So there we go, man. We're both set up. I like it. We should be fairly close here. Oh, she already gave birth. What? Where's the little one? Oh, there it is. Buddy, my bad, man. I didn't see you there. You're so tiny. Holy crap, dude. We got baby sharks, man. <laughs> it's kind of neat. I mean, terrifying when you have a bunch of them. So let's see. What is... I might have messed up the imprint. Are we close enough? I should have left that on. And is she set to imprint? Or not imprint? Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's on. She's activated. I don't see her doing anything, though. 4% mature. Okay, an imprint. Okay, cool. We're good. Tell you what, buddy. Leave you up there for a minute, man. You kind of... Kind of annoying me in the water a little bit. So, stats on this little dude. We got almost 4,000 on the health base and 352. Movement speed, we're going to get a bonus on and 1152 on the stamina. So it has a lot better stamina. It's got the stamina of the male. Okay, and what gender is this? So it's another male, so it'll definitely be replacing this one. Interesting. Like I said, I have to wait and see what the health was. I thought it was around 4,000 on the health. Maybe I'll look back on the video. Air. Air's a thing. But it looks like it has half and half on the colors, too. It has the stripes from the male and then the main body color from the female. Well, that's kind of cool, though. I like that. So we'll probably get rid of him. We got the good stats on him for the stamina, which is one of the main things. And as long as the damage comes out higher than 420 or equal to it, We'll go ahead and keep it, replace him, do the breeding again, and try to get another better one. So, I'll see you in a little bit when that's ready. And we'll try to go from there, man. See what we can come up with. It's kind of getting nighttime anyways. So, we'll probably see you uh, see in the morning. It does look fantastic out here with the lights on. Alright, so while I was waiting for this one, I went ahead and left them on breeding just so I can kind of see what the other little ones turn out as. So, this one's almost fully raised up. 
and he's going to have around 400 on the health or on the damage and then the health is going to be around probably 4700 and that's a male so this one over here where'd you go junior he's got the ugly color on his skin but he's got 4000 health already and he has a good stamina and his damage is already at 428 just starting off so i think as much as I want to keep the other skin color, I'm going to have to keep that one and get rid of this one. Not this one. Well, I mean that one too. But we'll get rid of this one. And I'll just have to breed out the colors later on. Because that one has a lot better stats. It's definitely worth it to keep that one for the male. Than to change it around. And dude, I don't know, man. They look pretty cool as they're, they're little next to the big ones. So yeah, we'll end up getting rid of both of these. I hate to do it, but... We'll get rid of both of these and then keep that little one there for breeding as he w gets a little bit raised up. Let's check on our food a little bit too. So I did go out and get some fish meat. They ate all of that first, of course. I went out on the basil. I just threw it over there because there's no fish in here. Turns out all, all of the tourists totally cover this area for the most part. So there's nothing over here. And they are way out there to get the fish. I don't know if you guys can see it. There's one way out there. He's actually getting a little, little bit too close. So yeah, that's where we're at. We're kind of back at square one. So I'm going to let this one raise up again. And then we'll try some breeding and see if we can't get us a female one before we go. I don't know. It might be a long process with the sharks. I mean, it is sometimes, right? Just the way it goes. So the cool part is, out of killing those, we did get some of the prime fish meat. Which is kind of weird. I didn't think you got that out of regular megalodons. Maybe because they're such a high level. Or maybe because... Well, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. Never seen it like that. I wonder I was walking so slow. But let me show you. So, if you remember when we started this video, we made up two pieces of kibble. And we got three more. So they are producing them at a fairly decent rate. That's not too bad. It's not too bad. Like I said, once we get stocked up, even that little bit's going to be too much. So it is working out. So I'll get some more of that made up here before too long. And then we'll try to get some more of this going on. But, yep, back to waiting, man. Oh, dude, there's going to be a lot of waiting for this. Well, the weather took a turn for the worst. Dude, it is storming like crazy out there, man. At least we have a nice little tiki hut for us to stand under. <laughs> I mean, it's not like we're going to get wet whenever we jump in the water or anything, right? Let's take a look. Old dude should be about ready. Yeah. All right, so where are we at in life with you? 100%. The health came out to be 4,700. Stamina is the base 1152. On weight, we got 510. Damage is up to 490%. That is not bad. And 120 on the movement speed. So, let's grab some air. Compared to this one a little bit. So, this one's base is 3,900 on the health. A lot lower. And then, the stamina is also lower. The damage, we got more, too. So, not too bad, man. We made out really well with this one. All we got to do now is get a female one. And, hopefully, man, I really hope I can get the colors from that one. I really like the, the colors on it. But, let's go ahead throw you into here we'll go to the other side and go for a little test swim and see how it does let's take these off for the moment so it should be fairly fast with the 120 percent on the movement speed oh yeah oh dude i've been doing this wrong the whole time see i've never bred any of the water creatures man it's a lot faster it's a definitely a lot faster and then, how much do we do per bite on the damage? So that's almost... That's actually a lot higher than what I normally have. So 254 is pretty good stats. And then, we still got to breed to get a better female, right? So that way we can have even better stats whenever we breed those two. So, let's put you back on the other side. We'll slowly work on these, right? I'm not in any rush, really, to get these done, like, super fast. I mean... I still work on it kind of on the side, but it's uh, going to be kind of like a little side project. But I like it, man. I like it. Not too bad. I'm glad we did find it. And this is only a 130, and I think... Wasn't the original male a 135 or something like that? So they're not even max level creatures. And dude, they're, they're going to be tanks, especially once we get all the health and everything up. Probably around 20,000 health and then everything else into damage on them. Hmm. I don't know. I like it. Been a very good day, man. We got us another Meg. 
Did a little bit of water breeding. We've got a ton of stuff left to do on this map, so I think we want to get a griffin here. Maybe in the next video. I miss our griffin, man. Really want to get another one and check out that south part of the map. But we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.